Start of Peter Water heading over towards the rostrum, the ninth and final race of the afternoon, the Arrow Thoroughbred Stakes. The extended mile trip in front of them. Flag is raised. Coming in. And they're off. And a good start made by Valentine Blue, who won here over further than this last time out. The horse that he beat on that occasion, fight or flight, she stalks him in second place as they make the turn into the back straight. Royal Acclamation in the red jacket has settled in third, a length clear from Red Myth in the noseband in the hands of Kirsten Meller. And uh, Emerald Girl is towards the inside, towards the back of the field, racing on the inside of Granny Ann in the light blue cap. Down the back straight they go. Valentine Blue and Mike Palmer in front. Favourite leads by a length. Though the fight or flight just having to be niggled along for a stride or two in second place. Royal Acclamation on the inside in third. Behind those then is Red Myth. She's two lengths clear from Granny Ann. And finally at the rear Emerald Girl. About six lengths top to tail as they go towards the far end of the back straight. Five furlongs left to travel, making a right-hand turn. Valentine Blue, the leader by just over a length. Fight or flight continued to be chivied along in second. Royal Acclamation in third, then Red Myth in the noseband. Granny Ann on the improve towards her outside. And on the inside, Emerald Girl is just last, but they're still very tightly grouped. Three and a half furlongs left to go. They're on the downhill run back for home. It remains Valentine Blue, the one to pass. Leads by over a length from Royal Acclamation, getting a nice gap through on the inside. Fight or flight in third. Red Myth being held together between horses on the inside of Granny Ann, on the outside of Emerald Girl, as they're about to make the turn for home. Valentine Blue is the leader inside the two. Royal Acclamation, the nearest pursuer. Two lengths to Red Myth, then Fight or Flight, then Emerald Girl and Granny Ann widest of all. Down the home straight, Valentine Blue remains the one to pass from Royal Acclamation. Fight or Flight keeping on quite gamely in third. Red Myth and then widest of all, Granny Ann entering the final 150 yards. Valentine Blue has the lead. Leads by length and a half from Fight or Flight. Red Myth and Granny Ann on the outside, but Valentine Blue in front, and he follows up his recent course success. Again, he beats Fight or Flight, who's second again. Close for third, Red Myth on the inside of Granny Ann, then Emerald Girl, and finally Royal Acclamation. <laughs>